Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure. It must be built from love and patience, dedication and perseverance, talking and listening, helping, supporting, and believing in each other through tenderness and laughter, learning to forgive and appreciate differences by learning to make the important things matter and letting go of the rest. No ceremony can create a marriage. What a ceremony can do is witness and affirm the choice to stand together as life mates and partners. Ten years ago when we met, there was something about you that, even then, it made you stand from the crowd. At the time, I didn't know what it was, but I knew you were special. Back in 2009, I started chasing you. It seemed like you were always a step ahead, and I couldn't quite catch up, but I continued that chase. Here we are ten years later, and I have a better idea of what it is about you that I'm still, to this day, chasing and craving about you. How selfless you are as a person, but especially as a mother, putting everybody else's needs before your own. Your outlook on life that is full of positivity and laughter and your ability to make every conversation a personal connection. As we continue to grow as a family, I know none of those qualities are going to change, but I am excited to go through this life together and continue opening new doors that may or may not be the right ones, but we will do it together which is what makes me the most excited about our future. I remember when we first started dating. Your favorite question to ask me was, but what do you love about me? And honestly, I can never give you an answer. That's probably why you stopped asking me. <laughs> well, it's been three years that we've been together now. And after living in Sweden, buying a house, raising two kids and a dog, I've got more reasons than I can list. So to put it simply, I love you because you persevere. You are consistent, you are present, you are invested in us. And in the time we've been together, you have shown me what true love feels like. You have continued on a steady path despite the circumstances, the loss of your dad, becoming an instant father. I vow to keep our family at the forefront of every decision we make, to take opportunities that come to us and never settle for just good enough. But most of all, I vow to keep chasing you like I have been the last 10 years. I am looking forward to the disagreements, the laughs, the tears, but most importantly, the memories we will share. 10 years ago, I called you my best friend. Now today, I get to call you my husband. And now, my heart is full. Davina and Aaron, may your life together be blessed with prosperity and good health. May you always share open and honest communication between each other. May you respect each other's individual talents and gifts and give full support to each other's professional and personal pursuits. May you cherish the home and family you have created together. May the years to come be filled with moments to celebrate and renew your love. May your love be a lifelong source of entertainment, affection, respect, and devotion for one another. There is a wonderful life ahead of you. Live it fully. Love its changes and its choices. Let life amaze you and bring you great joy. Davina and Aaron, you have made a pledge to each other here in the presence of your friends, family, and loved ones 
by exchanging vows and giving and receiving of rings. By the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church Ministries, I am honored to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you the new Mr. and Mrs. Aaron and Davida Anderson. Aaron knew Davina less than a matter of months at Central before he made me drive him to Casa Grande to watch her play in a softball tournament. Um, to add another layer of irony to that, I just asked him about that particular trip a few weeks ago and he didn't remember me going at all. <laughs> That's not a lie. That's not a lie. Um, and now, nine years later, it sort of makes sense. Uh, Davina made an impact on him from day one. Um, a big enough impact that he still has forgotten to pay me the gas money. But I tell that story just to speak on the amount of effort and perseverance any good relationship needs to be successful. And I don't think there's anyone here tonight that can doubt the effort that you two have for one another. Davina is definitely one of my most favorite people to laugh with. We can sit and laugh at the dumbest things or nothing at all. I know how much Aaron loves to listen to our obnoxious laughs. <laughs> Too late to turn back now, Aaron. You're welcome. When you have a daughter and she leaves home, you, you worry about, is she okay and is she taken care of? And with me, I had two granddaughters that go along with it. And at night, you know, sometimes I'd go to bed and I couldn't sleep. But then here comes Aaron. I meet Aaron, good guy, and Aaron, I sleep good. I, I sleep really good. Thank you. I want to wish him a happy future. Um, love each other every day, and uh, I need a grandson. to my mom and dad's wedding. You guys were so hopeful with everything that we needed and we love you guys so much. <laughs>